Hey, do you want to know how to make super pods like this? Well, today I will show you how to make a fireball, but in this series we also have heat vision and flight and more superpowers will be created in this series for you guys. So let's get it. Before we get into this tutorial, if you don't want to write down code by hand like this guy, try out our new subscription Voxmium. This subscription will allow you to copy and paste code straight into your projects. And don't worry if you don't have enough money right now because we have a 5 day free trial for you guys. But if you run out of that, you can use promo code FUTUREcraft in store for a 15% discount on your subscription limited time. Now back to the tutorial. So to start the build, we're going to create a folder called Power Assets in Replicate Storage and then add a part called Ball. Now add a beam to the ball part and then as well add two attachments that go with it. When you're done with that, now put the part in workspace and resize the part to 2.26 all the way through X, Y, and Z, as well as changing the color to yellow if you would like. Then position the attachments like so. After that, connect these attachments to the beam by setting the properties part zero and part one to the attachments and change the properties of the beams like you see on screen. We will also need to add an explosion effect. So just search up in the toolbox explosion effect. Once you have found what you're looking for, make sure all the objects in it have the cancolide property false and anchor property true. Now you can put this in your assets folder. Now let's add sounds for the fireball. Add a folder in sound service called power sounds. Find a explosion sound in the toolbox and insert it in the folder. Now that we have the assets we need, let's add a tool in stutter pack. Let's call the tool fireball and then add in a script called functionality. Then make a local script and call it player action. And as well, add a remote event called get mouse pose. Now go into the functionality script and let's start by adding the variables of the script. Then let's add in the functions that will allow us to manipulate how the fireball will react when colliding with another object. Okay, now that we have the functions, we will now check if the fireball collided with another object. We will also get where the mouse is pointing at by using the remote event and writing this code. Now we are going to script on the player action local script. So we are going to add the variables we need for this script. And now the event for the local script. Let's also add an attribute to the tool, call it attack damage, since we call it in our variables in the functionality script. Also, don't forget to anchor and uncancolide the ball part because then it will stay in place like this. Also, make sure your beam is orientated correctly. If not, it will look like the ball part is going sideways. If you want to add a delay to stop players from spamming like this, just add a variable called debounce and make it equal to true. Then check if it is false and change it back to true and then a second later change it back to false. This will make it so when the event is triggered again after it was triggered, it will have to wait one second until the statement would allow the action to go through. We have now completed the build, but if you are ready to make more abilities, in the next video we will be making the heat vision ability so subscribe and turn on notifications to be notified anyways peace